Aperture fever, the astronomer's affliction, man's inevitable pursuit of the biggest and the best. Aperture fever is the astronomer's version of the broader disease gear acquisition syndrome, gas. As our global economy teeters towards a technical recession, I guarantee you that those people keeping us that 0.1% away from a technical recession are a foolish bunch of adult astrophotographers and probably musicians who just can't help themselves, who just can't help buying more technical equipment before things they need like food and deodorant and clothes, forever chasing that high. You think I'm wearing this Celestron shirt because it's a sponsored video? No, I'm wearing this shirt because it's free. I'm not spending money on shirts, that's telescope money. In today's video, I delay much needed suspension work on my car and put all of that money towards my new telescope. A telescope I've always dreamed of, my dream telescope. It's been a long road to this one, but I've made it. I have purchased a Celestron 14 inch Schmidt Cassegrain Edge HD telescope. The biggest consumer grade off the shelf telescope you can buy before you get into, you know, more custom and niche stuff. Can you buy this in a Walmart? Maybe. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. <laughs> Well, this hurts me deep in my soul, but I have found a new home for my beloved C11. Uh, it's going to a good friend of mine, Matt Dodds, but it means I need to pull this down now. And that just feels weird. I spent so long putting this together and uh, I've been doing great work with it. And honestly, I kind of love it. So to undo it all just breaks my brain. Honestly, I got a bit emotional packing up the C11 because it just feels like a weird thing to do. I had that working so well. Um, but in today's economy, I can't justify having too many telescopes. And look at the size difference between these guys. Um, I don't know if that's a good way to get a sense of scale, but side by side, you can just see the massive difference. Now, if you've ever bought a Celestron OTA, you get a few things standard and I've bought a few. I've gone through this with the 925 and the C11 now, and we've stepped up a notch. Uh, you will get a finder scope, just a standard finder scope to sit on the top of the scope. You get a luminous eyepiece, which is massive and actually quite good. I don't use it. You get the little T adapter. You'll get the star diagonal as well. And another little adapter. Most of this stuff, if you're doing astrophotography, you won't need, you won't need the eyepiece, you won't need the star diagonal. You will need this or something similar to attach to the end of the scope. Looks like the cap has fallen off in transit, which should be on the back of the cell here. We've got our warning about not looking at the sun. Ah, <laughs> now this is new to me. Two handles, which, uh, God, you really need for this thing. And a manual, which is the same manual you get with a eight, nine, 11, and 14. Oh my God. If you do buy a Celestron OTA, or really any telescope, and it comes with these molded foam inserts, keep them even if you throw away the box because one day when you do buy another telescope, it is really great to sell it and box it up with these things. 
it just makes life so much easier later on. Otherwise you're selling a telescope and trying to stuff a box with pillows or something. Oh, that's interesting. The C14 doesn't have those weird clicky things on the uh, lid. It just slides on. I actually prefer that. You can almost see the purple glow of the uh, coating there, uh, which is nice. And everything looks really clean and lovely. That's a bit of an optical illusion down there uh, because that's where the mirror ends. And all the light will go down that center tube there. Uh, bounced off the secondary mirror, which is removable uh, if you want to put on a hyperstar. And like the other ones, you should be able to, there we go, to get to the collimation screws. Now this has just been in transit, so on the one hand, I know that this is straight from the factory and this is straight from QA in Torrance, California. Uh, so I know this is already well collimated. Uh, it's worth checking though on such a long trip from California to Australia where the collimation is still good. Now, of course, the raw specs for the C14, um, it is a beast. 3,910 millimeter focal length, which is just astounding. I mean, this is really zoomed in. They say the light gathering power of the C14 is three times the eight inch, which, um, I don't understand the maths behind that. And in fact, it's a slower telescope at f11, but I mean, this is the planet killer, right? For me, this is a big shift towards more serious planet photography, at least for a while. Um, although I am very tempted to go hyperstar on this, but you know, I still have the Rasa 11. I can use the Rasa for DSO work as well. Damn, this is longer than my relationship with you. <laughs> Okay, well, the monster is on and I just slewed it home for the first time where it does its thing after balancing. And it kind of freaked me out. You know, I've seen the videos where people drop their C14s and um, so I was like cradling it like a baby <laughs> just in case it slipped off. Uh, but thankfully it's fine. I, you know, tighten these to within an inch of their life. Um, I don't think I have enough counterweights I've got two right at the end here and it's not enough. Um, it's pretty close. Like I can still use this for visual, um, but for imaging, I'm gonna need this better balanced, which means getting an EQ8 counterweight specifically for this, uh, for this shaft. But it's not just that. I need a new dew shield. I'm gonna need a tri batnov mask, which is what all the cool kids are using to test their collimation these days particularly with a big telescope or SCT or an RC or something like that. I'll eventually want the Hyperstar. I'll need a new dew ring, but I've got enough right now just to actually look through the thing. So that'll be the first thing I do tonight if the conditions are clear enough. Saturn is up, so I'll check that out. Big geomagnetic storm last night. It was all the news, I was fast asleep. Maybe chance tonight, I'll go out and check that out too. And of course we have the comet returning, which is huge. Thank you for indulging me as I show you my transition. And thanks to Celestron as well. Uh, I didn't get this for free, I paid for it, but I did get a bit of a discount. But I am super, super excited to hit the planets this planetary season. Hope your planetary is going well this season and I hope your astrophotography journey is going well as well. You've been watching Star Stuff. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and remember, everything is meaningless.
we're all going to die.